Mineral and bone disorders and anemia are both well recognized and the very important uh, clinical complications that we find in patients with chronic kidney disease and also in patients with transplants. Now, uh, while they are regarded as independent complications, there have been some studies that suggested that, uh, in fact, many of the aspects of chronic kidney disease related mineral and bone disorders could have an impact on uh, erythropoiesis and anemia. Similar studies have been scarce in patients who, uh, who have kidney transplants, uh, who uh, may have chronic kidney disease, but who may also have very complex mechanisms of uh, both of these entities due to various time spent on dialysis, for example. Um, previous studies have suggested that aspects of chronic kidney disease, mineral and bone disorders that could impact anemia are secondary hyperparathyroidism, vitamin D levels, and some studies suggested even serum calcium. Very few studies have examined serum phosphorus as a predictor of anemia, and it is unclear if serum phosphorus in those studies was merely a reflection of concomitantly disordered PTH metabolism or one of the other aspects of CKD MBD. What we decided to do is examine uh, the association between serum phosphorus and hemoglobin levels as well as um, incidence of anemia in a uh, fairly large cohort of prevalent uh, kidney transplant recipients from a single institution. This was a um, prospective cohort, hence it allowed us to measure a number of confounders that were not necessarily available in prior studies such as FGF23 levels, PTH levels, uh, specific markers of uh, bone metabolism. Um, what we found was that uh, uh, higher serum phosphorus was very significantly associated with lower hemoglobin and with the odds ratio of anemia. Uh, this association was extremely robust even in ranges of uh, serum phosphorus that were well in the normal and even in the low range and was extremely linear. Um, the importance of this finding may be that it is one of the few explanations that may explain why uh, patients uh, who have higher phosphorus in the normal range uh, have an association with uh, mortality, uh, an association between higher phosphorus and mortality, that is. Uh, practical implications of the study are unclear at this time, uh, mainly due to the observational and cross-sectional nature of this observation. We would first like to see uh, a confirmation of this association in other large studies, a confirmation in uh, prospective studies where uh, a uh, temporal change in serum phosphorus is, is followed by a temporal change in hemoglobin, and, and potentially a confirmation by randomized controlled trials, whereby you could show that a uh, uh, lowering of the serum phosphorus uh, could have a positive impact uh, on uh, hemoglobin levels or um, the prevalence of anemia. Uh, if these findings are confirmed, uh, this may mean that treatment of uh, hyperphosphatemia and maybe even pushing serum phosphorus further down within the normal range could become um, a part of a strategy um, of treating anemia uh, besides other strategies of addressing this important complication.